Hey, so in this video we're going to make a, a bow that shoots arrows, or really just the arrows part. And you know that when you shoot an arrow it follows the direction it's moving. So if I shoot an arrow, if I'm this black circle here, it doesn't just float in the air like this. It actually follows whichever direction that it's moving, generally. So we're going to make it do that too. So if you have a basic first person kind of situation here, we want it so that when we click, we shoot out an arrow in the direction that we're looking. First, we're going to need to make the arrow we're shooting. I recommend Blender. This makes 3D models and it's free. So when we open this up, I'm going to press A, delete, enter. And we're going to start from scratch. I'm just going to really, really quickly make an ugly arrow. But you need to do this step because the direction the arrow faces in Blender is going to matter when we want it to be rotated to face another direction in Unity. So in Blender, Shift A, Mesh, uh, let's say Cylinder, I'm going to press S, make it thin, press S, Z, and then make a stick. Now I'm going to do Shift A, going to make a cone. Move it up, press S, okay, and that's the pointy part, and now I'm going to make the bottom, shift A, cube, S, Y, so it's going to shrink it on the Y axis, you can also just make it smaller, bring it down, and that is our beautiful arrow, that is good enough for me. So I'm going to save this as arrow and in my unity project you should probably make a folder called meshes and that's where my my arrow is so right now it's just a 3d mesh file on my computer i'm going to drag click and drag it into the scene and now that it's a, a game object in the top left here uh i'm going to click assets so if you don't have the resources folder, right click, create folder, resources, go into that. And now just click and drag arrow into resources. So now it's a kind of cookie cutter that can make cookies. So we're going to use this as a mold or template. It's called a prefab to make more arrows. Now uh, you can delete the arrow that already, the actual cookie that exists. Now we're going to write the code that when you click, it, it creates an arrow. So in Assets, maybe a Scripts folder or wherever, right-click, Create, C-sharp script, call it Arrow Shooter, and open that up. So we're going to need that cookie cutter, uh, Arrow Prefab. When we start, we're going to load that cookie cutter so we can make more cookies, or arrows in this case. That's resources.load, and it was called arrow. And we only need to do that once. Now we can use this to make more. On update, this happens a lot. So about 60 times a second. We're going to always constantly be checking if input get mouse button down. Zero is left click, one is right. Squiggly bracket. So this will happen when we click. Well, what do we want to happen? We want to make an arrow. So, new arrow is going to be instantiate that arrow prefab. That's going to make our new arrow. We want this to be placed where we are. So the new arrow, its position, whoops, position is going to be equal to our position. So when I later attach this arrow shooter to my player, this is the player's position that we're talking about. So the new arrow will be there. And let's save this and see what it does. So player, add component, arrow shooter. We'll see what this does. Press play. When I click, all right, it makes an arrow where I am. The arrow is actually pretty huge, but, you know, maybe we'll sort that out later. So next we want it to also shoot off in the direction, right, that we want it to go. To do this, we're going to add a rigid body. 
to the arrow in Assets Resources, click on the arrow, and on the right here, Add Component Rigid Body. This will kind of give it some weight, like some mass. It'll give it gravity and all kinds of things. So we can set the velocity, which is a speed with a direction. So let's get that rigid body out of our new arrow. This is how you do that. And now, there we go. We're going to set our rigid body's velocity to what? Well, we're going to set it to, there's a way to access the main camera by default that we're looking through. I want to get its transform, which is its rotation, position, all this kind of information. And it's called forward. That's the direction we're looking. So it is falling now, and it is actually moving in the direction I'm looking barely. But what's happening here is normally an arrow is moving really quite a lot. It has a lot of velocity going on there. So the length of this red line might be like 30 meters a second. Whereas the direction I'm looking is kind of a short little arrow. It's actually by default just length 1. So if I want it to be, say, 30 times longer, I can take this and just multiply it by, say, 30. That'll be a better speed. Okay, so now we got to get the arrow to point in the right direction. So we're going to make another script. Right-click, Create, C-sharp script, call it Arrow. Open that up. So we're going to want to be using the rigid body attached to the arrow, and we're only going to get it once. So now we have access to it. I think you still should do this. It might be in a newer Unity version. You don't need to anymore because usually doing this is a uh, harder on a computer and it's faster just to store the result once. But uh, we'll just do that. So every time we update, we want to set the direction that the arrow is looking to be the same as its velocity. So the rotation has got to be equal to something. Now our rotation, the value here, is four numbers called a quaternion. So I can't just say rotation five. It's going to get angry at me because that doesn't really make any sense. It's actually looking for four numbers. So that quaternion, there's a way to generate that four-numbered quaternion out of a three-number vector which is a three numbers is going to be our velocity. So look rotation, you can give this a vector. And in this case, it's our velocity. So it'll take that velocity and turn it into a rotation. So if we save that, and actually in assets, resources, arrow, we need to add arrow, the arrow script to our arrow prefab here. And this is going to be close to what we need, but not quite. So it's as though the arrow right now is constantly facing this way. And there's a lot of ways you could fix this, but we're going to do it in Blender. So in Blender, it's shooting it this way. Not like this, but we figure it's like that. So I want to rotate it in such a way like that, I figure. Now how are you going to do this? Uh, you press A to select everything. R, X is the red one. Y would be the other axis. And then type 90. Enter and save that. And actually, while we're at it, press S and make it a little smaller. Click and now save it again. But back in Unity, we're actually going to want to delete this arrow here and resources. In Meshes, this is our 3D arrow. Okay, so we're going to click and drag that out. Again, bring it to Resources. Delete this one up here. And we've got to again add Rigid Body and Arrow to it. Alright, so 
The arrows are now following the direction that they're moving, just as you'd expect arrows to do. So I hope this video was, was useful, and thanks for watching.